Hey everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the Z Motorsports shop and channel. And welcome back to part two of my uh, DI, my uh, deionized water filtration system cart. So where I last left you, and on the edge of your seat, I hope, um, we had just welded the back hoop onto the bottom hoop, and that's where we left off. So um, today's order of business <clears throat> is I'm going to go ahead and put my wheels on, and so I can get this leveled up and I'm going to build the base as well as the handle. So for the base, I think I'm just going to build, bend up like a, either a 30 or a 45 degree band that just kind of looks like a boomerang underneath that will go out and be able to set in two, two points. So I'll have four points of contact um, for the cart and then the handle. I'm probably gonna switch over to some 7.8s. I think I've got some 7.8s chrome molly, and I'm just gonna come off of here up with like, I don't know, maybe a 25, 30 degree angle. And then the reason why I wanna go 7.8s is just so I can use a regular like a bicycle hand grip and glue on and slide over it. Um, I picked up a, a strap that I'll be able to put around the, the, uh, the back and the uh, tank to hold it to the, to the back hoop here. So I think once we get the welding done on the front here and the handle, I think I can go ahead and paint it and it's pretty much about wrapped up at that point. So um, we're gonna go ahead and grab a piece of, another piece of this one and a quarter DOM and go over to the bender and bend. Like I said, just kind of gonna go by feel. I need to kind of see where I need to, um, where this needs to stand for starters. So with that, on it there. That's a little, a little too high there. Uh, that's still a little, a little high. That's going to be pretty dang, dang close there. That is really close there. Just a little tall, so <clears throat> I think I'll last, at least be able to get me a uh, measurement and be able to, because that's pr pretty stinking close right there. I'm only, at the top here, I'm only leaned back maybe 3 16 quartered max. So that'll at least uh, get me in the ballpark measurement so I'll need something that comes let's see that's three and five eighths so more than likely gonna be about three and a half inches from the bottom up to where that welds on so and then I'll just fit it right underneath oh and I got to put three tabs on where the tanks gonna sit down in so I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the tubing bender and bend up a uh, lower piece this is gonna be in an arc and it's going to be facing down. I like to take and turn, even though this is DR or DOM tubing, it does have, it, it basically starts out as electro welded tubing, has a seam and then they draw it over a mandrel. So it still has the, the mark. So I like to turn that to the least noticeable. Again, it's a cart. It's not going to matter. I'm going to paint it, but still it's just the habit I've gotten into doing. So as I'm putting the, uh, as I'm, as I'm bending the radius in this, I want the uh, actual uh, seam to be in the bottom where it's not going to be not going to be seen. So, okay, I'll take up the slack. As soon as the slack's taken out of it, go ahead and set my degree. We well, like I said, I'm going to go to what looks about right. I'm, in my head, I'm thinking probably in the 25 to 30 range. So. Let's uh, see what that looks like. All right, so I'm getting pretty uh, rudimentary here, but, or crude if you will, but you'd use what, you use what works. So I'm uh, positioning that, and I'm gonna position it out to where I'm about three and a half inches away. There's three and a half on the money. Then 
I will go ahead and mark my lines. as such and follow that straight edge actually that's going to net me 14 inches so it'll be pretty much dead center with the center of the tire so now I'll just go over to the bandsaw and uh, cut these just my guide up One down, let's go ahead and the other one. Okay, there we go, we should be yeah, we're a little high, but I'm gonna touch it up, touch it up with the uh, disc sander while we're right here. Okay, hopefully that shows up there. So there's the uh, base. Let's uh, see how close it was. Pretty close. I think I'll knock maybe a maybe I'll knock about a sixteenth of an inch off of that. Yet is all. It's just barely leaning back, but that's pretty dang close. So I'm going to go over and knock about another 16 car. There we go. Also worth noting here, the uh, DOM is a little thicker than the chrome molly here that I'm using. So uh, you're gonna wanna I want to concentrate my heat. Uh, I want to concentrate my heat a little bit more on the uh, uh, larger tube diameter here, the larger tube here. All right, so that pretty much um, completes the actual cart. I just have three tabs to weld on the bottom hoop. And I'm gonna get, pick me up just a bicycle hand grip for here. And I can paint it and it's done. So uh, I think next up is I'm gonna make me a little template and cut out three little tabs. I don't know, they don't need to be very high, probably inch 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 and whatever I've probably got some inch strap around and I'll just weld three little straps uh, tabs around that to hold the tank and then uh, that ought to work pretty that ought to work pretty slick. I left off um, getting ready to make three little tabs so I think that's where I'm going to uh, pick up here 
So we're going to make this as easy and quick as possible here. So we're going to do a triangle. And square that off. Another triangle, and that should give me three tabs in which to uh, radius the top. So I'll just take and radius the top and make this just, a, it'll, it's actually probably about an inch and a half. Yeah, inch and, inch and three, yeah, but just shy of inch and a half. So I'll be end up being about an inch and a quarter by the time I round it. band saw here. Sander to deburr. Okay, three radius tabs. Ready to wipe down some acetone. So well that kind of goes to show that little finishing touches like that, like just making these little tabs and radiusing them and making them look good. You saw how quick that took to make three little tabs. I don't th think I spent three minutes between marking them out, cutting them on the bandsaw, um, deburring them on the belt or on the disc sander. And three minutes, and those are little, and you can also see how consistent, maybe I'll show you, here. you can see how consistent a person can get just by eye and, and a ruler. I mean, I don't think, I mean, you could go through the hassle of drilling a hole, bolting those together, and going through and radiusing them all, and I don't know that you'd notice a difference. There's not a sixteenth of an inch difference in length and overall f uh, shape and form. I don't think there's a thirty-second of an inch difference. So, quick, simple. Doesn't need to. You don't need to um, take forever to do it. So, just a quick and simple little job. So, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and raise the uh, card up here. Take some measurements. Tack those in place and weld them in. Got them tacked in place. Now I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down and uh, run a little bead along, along it here. Pretty much think that this is the end of the welding. Here is my completed cart. So I have the tank, the DI rinse tank installed. I just stopped by, uh, picked me up a kind of an inexpensive bicycle hand grip, installed that, and then just a strap to keep it strapped back against the uh, um, back backrest hoop. So all I gotta do now is put my regulator, 
or not my regulator, my valve and my hose fittings on, and I'm ready to wheel this out every time I want to wash a vehicle. Hook my reel up and hook a short ho shorter hose up this way so that I can wash my vehicles and hopefully spot free rinsing coming our way. So the uh, uh, Z Motorsport stable will hopefully be able to have uh, clean stallions again once in its stable and uh, with a lot less effort. So that pretty much concludes the little uh, cart project for my uh, deionizing filtration system. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to see projects or videos on, on various projects, let me know. I'll be more than happy to try to accommodate. Uh, I've got a couple other small projects coming up here in the next little bit that I'm going to be um, doing some videos on, so stay tuned. And uh, I'd like to thank all of my uh, subscribers, uh, long time, long time being three years, and my more recent ones. So thank you very much. I hope I'm not letting you down on the video content. Thank you.